on overdrive this week, Bird drives the all-new Mini Cooper in Puerto Rico. A chat with one of Formula One's greatest race car designers, Gordon Murray. Auto selector with Bert and the latest in motoring news. Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I'm Shireen Bhan. First up, Lucky Bert is in exotic Puerto Rico driving a modern iteration of a British icon. The Mini Cooper has been much loved by enthusiasts and collectors for decades now. But after BMW bought the brand over, it somewhat lost its perky, zesty appeal. Now, BMW is adamant to woo Mini Cooper lovers all over again with its new version. But find out if the company has succeeded. On today's show, I've come down to Puerto Rico to drive the all-new Mini Cooper. Now, here's the interesting bit about this very funky-looking hatchback. Uh, it was an idea that originated in England, but as of today, this car is wholly developed by the Germans. BMW owns the brand, BMW owns Mini, and they're responsible for taking this car to the next level. Now, the other interesting part, and this has got to do with Puerto Rico, the roads out here, the driving environment is very similar to what we've got back home in India. So, the roads, well, there's a mix of mixture of smooth and bad patches. And it's very same. It's so, all that I have to tell you about this hatchback is a fairly accurate representation of what we will experience back home. Now, the Mini Cooper is going to come down to India by the festive season, which is uh, early October or November. So, let me tell you all there is about this car. From the outside, the change isn't something that is immediately apparent and you could easily mistake this for the previous generation Mini. Those with a keen eye will notice the new grille and headlamps. At night, the LEDs in the headlamps are a dead giveaway that this is a new car. In the new Mini, the dimensions have changed as well. 98mm longer, 44mm wider and just 7mm taller than the last car. That isn't a visible change but what it does is increases the wheelbase and the track to give it a slightly larger footprint to stand on. And that is always a good thing for any car. Inside the Mini, the first and most obvious change is the layout of the dashboard. The instrument console and the speedometer has now moved from the center console back to where it belongs logically, right behind the steering wheel. And there is a lot of gimmicky stuff inside this cabin too. The center console has a light range from blue to orange to red to a white. There is a lot of disco happening inside this cabin. But it's fun, funky and definitely entertaining. But enough of what's inside, we are here to drive on roads similar to the ones we face back home. And it's time to do exactly that. The new Mini Cooper comes with a choice of five engine options. Right at the bottom, at the entry level, there's a three-cylinder, which is an all-new engine, 1.2-liter petrol. And this is a fairly new engine, and the uh, well, the emphasis is on efficiency more than anything else. Yet this engine has got a twin-stage turbo, so you definitely get a lot of performance out of it as well. 95 horsepower. That's the rated output of that three-cylinder petrol. Now that's at the bottom end. At the very top is the Cooper S and that comes with the 4-cylinder 2.0-litre petrol engine. Now even this engine has a twin-stage uh, turbocharger, 2-stage turbocharger. And you get about 192 horses out of that engine. In between, there's also the diesel. Now there's a 3-cylinder 1.5-litre diesel as well. And that's uh, that along with the 2.0-litre petrol are the obvious choices for the Indian market. However, I do wish the three-cylinder 1.2-litre petrol makes its way down as well because that would be a fairly efficient engine to power this very funky hatchback. Now, engine responses, I've driven a couple of those engines and uh, not the diesel, however, just the petrol for now. But uh, the engine responses, instantaneous and definitely makes this a fun-to-drive hatchback. Definitely have no complaints on that front. Transmissions, you get... Uh, a six-speed automatic transmission and that's the transmission that will be offered to the Indian consumers as well. Transmissions, 
Well, there's a choice of both automatic and manual here in Puerto Rico, but the obvious, and of course this is because of BMW's policy in India, transmission that will come down to India is the automatic. And you get paddle shifts behind the steering wheel, so well, effectively, every time you drive this car, your hands just don't have to leave the steering wheel. BMW has also stiffened the suspension. You can uh, well, effectively select the kind of setting you want from a stiff to a mid-level comfort level to an economy level driving mode just by flicking a switch which can be found right uh, down below near the gear shift lever. The suspension stiffness, well, the previous generation Mini Cooper, from what I recall back home and driving it back home in India, was an extremely stiff car. It rattled every single bone in your body. And uh, like I said in my opening, the roads here in Puerto Rico, pretty bad as well, broken in several places. But interestingly, driving this car in comfort mode or in the mid mode, the suspension doesn't feel that hard. It's quite forgiving. It's, it's well, uh, well, as forgiving as uh, a stiffly sprung car can be. I quite like how when you shift to sport mode, a small message comes up on the center console that says, Sport mode, maximum go-kart feel. And that's, well, it definitely tells you a lot about what this car is capable of. This is precisely like a go-kart. Of course, you've got all the feature comforts around you. But in feel and character, this is just a larger go-kart. The steering is precise. The throttle responses are instantaneous. The suspension, well, feels rigid and hard, but that's just what you need when you're in performance mode, when you're in full attack mode. The tyres on the Mini Cooper that I'm driving here in Puerto Rico, well, they are 17 inches in diameter. But uh, the ones that will come down to or will be offered uh, when this car comes down to the Indian market will be 15 inches, which is effectively the same size as what you get right now. So the ride quality definitely should be a lot better with those tyres. These, of course, low profile, much stiffer ride quality, but with the 15 inches, definitely gets better. So what do I think of the Mini Cooper? Well, I think this car is a lot of fun. You're going to enjoy every minute with it. Ignore the price and the position that it's going to be, uh, well, at when it comes down to the Indian market because there are practical choices offered at the same price point like Mercedes Benz's A-Class and uh, BMW's very own 1 Series but what you don't get in those cars and what you get a lot of in the Mini Cooper is that rich heritage and tradition you get this funky very gorgeous looking exterior and this very funky interior as well and then of course there's that dynamic performance this is a go-kart in luxurious traffic What a car to be driving in sunny Puerto Rico, but we're all extremely envious of you. On that note, it is time for us to take a break.